Greetings church Welcome to Holy Spirit Radio Welcome to Holy Spirit Radio I pray that your faith have failed you not I pray that you know that our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus is closer than he ever have been Even than when we first believed And I pray that you know he's coming soon And I pray that you know that he loves us greatly And that he will finish what he started in our hearts Church let us remember It's time for us to repent For the kingdom of heaven is at hand Church, we're not waiting on the end time to get it because the end is now. Yes, beloved, we're not waiting on the end time to get here because the end is now. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Good to gather with you again. Um, I pray all is well with you and your families. I pray um, that that our faith are increasing. I pray um, that our loving is increasing for our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. And I pray that in every circumstance, in every situation, that our faith that will not fail us. And I pray that in every thought, in every mindset, that we bring it captive. And make it obedient to the Holy Spirit that we may remain in the mind of Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior, our Lord and Savior, that we may walk in joy, peace, love, and the hope that He have promised to give us through His blood and His sacrifice. Oh man. Brothers and sisters, today we're just gonna intercede and pray. We have a little quick word, then we're just gonna pray and intercede. Um, because prayer is necessary, we need prayer, we need intercession, man. We have to stand in the gap. Um, um, as a body of Christ and intercede for those who intercede with those who know how to pray and those at the moment who are far off who are called by the name of the Lord that they may come um, to a revelation knowledge of Jesus Christ okay um, brothers and sisters as I've been spending time with the Lord um, he's been ministering to me and um, the Lord said son sometime in order for something to fall in in order for things to fall in place, sometimes they have to fall apart. Jesus. He says, son, sometimes in order for things to fall in place, they first have to fall in part, fall apart. They have to, in order for some things to fall in place, they first have to fall apart. Man. Because sometimes when a God um, is growing us, he'll stretch our faith by, by allowing us to face trials. That would increase us in him by causing us to seek more of his presence. Okay. And um, as I was spending time with the Lord, the Lord was like, son. He spoke, he, he spoke from heaven, man. He spoke from heaven by the Holy Spirit, man. He said, son, go to the store of Abraham. Abraham. And when I went to the store of Abraham, the Lord started speaking to me. He said, son. He was he 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 told he 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 started speaking to me. He said, son, fear not. I am your shield and your great reward. And he took me to the book of Genesis. And he took me to the story of Abraham. He told Abraham that, Fear not, I am your shield and your great reward. He said, Son, as I have, as it are written in my word, my word is for the, forever settled in heaven. That it was just not spoken in that moment, but it also, it, it also have an effect right now in your life that fear not because I am your shield and I am your great reward. And the Lord said, church, I am your shield. I am your great reward. Fear not because I am with you even to the end of this age. Okay. And as, and as I was spending time with the Lord, man, as I was spending time with the Lord and, um, as I was spending time with the Lord, seeking his face and, um, allowing him to minister to my heart, man, he really started speaking to me deeply and said, son. 
Be patient and seek my glory. And as you seek my glory, you bear fruit by my spirit because my spirit get life and patience. Oh, man. The Lord said, be patient because as you wait on me, my spirit give you life and patience. And the only way to bear fruit by the spirit is through patient because patient works salvation out in your heart. Patient work righteousness in your heart. And patience call you to be to to heal properly because patient call you to be still in my presence. Oh man. And as I was spending time with the Lord, man, the Lord began to uh share the share that son, I am your shield. Continue moving forward. And brother and sister, I just want to encourage you in this moment that. Let us walk in the righteousness of Christ Jesus and move forward in the kingdom by obeying the gospel. Let in every trial and every circumstance you move forward by trusting and find confidence in his presence. The other day I was at work. I remember the Lord took me in the spirit and showed me a vision about the obedient church that he coming back for without spot, without blemish. And as he showed me the vision, I began to go to work the next day. And as I go to work the next day, uh, uh, a radio station, a radio um, program came on the radio and it confirmed what I just heard in the vision a few hours earlier. Oh, man. And as it confirmed on the radio what I heard in the vision a few hours earlier, because in the vision when I was asleep, he was showing the obedient church and tickets to the game. And when I get on a when I get in the truck the next day, a game come on the radio and it talk about getting tickets to a game. Oh, man. And as it talk about the game and talk about um someone on the team named Isaiah. But the Lord was telling me on the radio, I want you to go to Isaiah, man. And as as I get ready to uh, and as I think about um, what I just heard on the radio, the Holy Spirit tell me to look up at the back of the truck riding in front of me. And as I look up at the back of the truck that is riding in front of me, it got Isaiah 431 on the back. I said, oh, man. And as I see Isaiah um, 431, this is what the Lord said in Isaiah 41 church. And this is what he said to the obedient church and all those that are called by his name who love his heart and seek his face and want to dwell with him and want to see him by them being faithful to the gospel that he died and shed his blood for and was raised that we may live with him forever. Oh, man. And this is what the Lord said, man. This is what the Lord said. Man. Isaiah 4 to 31. Now, as I, he had me look up at the back as he had me to look up at the back of the trailer, man, it was heavy what he showed as he had me look up at the back of the trailer. Um, once I look up at the back of the trailer, on the back of the trailer, it say trust. Oh, man. Therefore, church, let that trust and have confidence in the Lord our God that he will finish what he started because he's faithful to his testimony. And as he had me to look, as I, so as he, Say Isaiah on the radio. Then he tell me, look up at the back of the truck that arrived in front of me. Then he got Isaiah 4 to 31. And it said, trust. And this is what the Lord say about Isaiah 4 to 31. It said, but they, but they, Jesus. And now he was talking to him about patience and patience meaning wait on the Lord. So when I look up at the back of the truck, uh, as the Lord tell me, he said, and Isaiah 4 to 31 said, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Oh, they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Oh, man. Church, let us have confidence in the Lord and not and not faint. Let us not let us have confidence in confidence in the Lord and not grow weary and well doing. Why? Because as we wait on the Lord, he's going to mount us up as wing with wings as eagle church. He will mount us up daily and also there's a prophesied great, a great revival that is coming in the next few years that the church that the Holy Spirit would do in the church and it will be the greatest revival in the church that we have ever seen. Church he's going to mount, he will mount us up daily in his presence by us. Um, seeking his presence, laying on his shoulder, trusting in him, and also 
that same presence that he mount us up daily will mount us up in the few years that we might fly as wings of an eagle because we are walking completely surrendered to the righteousness of his testimony. Jesus, man. Jesus, man. And so, brothers and sisters, I just want to share this with you today because the Lord confirmed this, you know what I'm saying, by sign, by uh, divine sign and warning, man, how he brought this vision to pass. And this vision was about the obedient church. And in this vision, he covered the obedient church with his glory because in the vision, he covered the man of God with an eagle jacket, with a Philadelphia, with, a, with an eagle jacket. And on the radio, it was a Philadelphia Eagle game, but the game led me to the book of Isaiah. Oh, man. So you got to ask, well, why? What does Philadelphia Eagle got to do with the man of God in the vision being covered with the glory? Because when you go to the book of Revelation, the church of Philadelphia was the obedient church. Oh, man. <laughs> you don't remember that scene. Man. His glory is amazing, man. His glory, Jesus, was amazing. Brothers and sisters, that's all I have for you today. Let's intercede and pray. Here to pray. Pray with us. So we're going to cry out to the Lord, our God, our Lord Christ Jesus, who sits on the throne in heaven. We're going to cry out to him. Okay. We're going to cry out to him. So let's go. Dear heavenly and wise Father, we repent of our sins, Lord. Please forgive us of our sin. We're coming for your throne. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your love, Lord God. We thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for taking care of us. Thank you for leading us by your spirit. Lord, we just cry out to you right now this morning. For you are the great merciful God sits upon the circle of the earth you will have great and tender mercies for those who fear your name Lord and Lord we, we fear your name Lord and we pray that you would bring us back into our fear and reverence even deeper than we are now and, and those who have not feared we pray that they will fear Lord that they may be saved Lord because Lord you said Lord the reason why uh, people don't reverence me the reason why my children turn from you is because the reason why my children turn from you is because they turn they, they fall victim to pride and they because they lose fear of my name. Lord, we pray today, Lord, that the church will come back to a great fear of your holy name, Lord. Because Lord, when you return, Lord, we know every knee will bow and every mouth will confess that you are Lord because they will see your great glory. Lord, we just pray that we will see your great glory every day through the righteousness of your son, Christ Jesus. And we pray that we will do your will from the heart. We pray that we will seek your face. We pray that we will long for you deeply. We pray that we will never turn from your side or turn from your way. We pray that we will live line upon line, precept upon precept out there in the gospel. Lord, we pray that we know that no man is justified by the deeds of the flesh or no man is justified by the deeds of the law but man is justified only by faith Lord only by your grace Lord but Lord we pray even in that grace that we would not use it as a crutch of disobedience but we would use that grace as a tool for obedience that calls us to walk in righteousness for you said be, fer be perfect as your father in heaven is perfect and the only way we can be perfect is by bearing the gospel and accepting your righteousness Lord because only your righteousness saved and not our own. Lord, we pray that that righteousness will be worked in our heart by fellowship, fellowship, having fellowship with your spirit, Lord. 
And we pray as we fellowship with your spirit, Lord, it will cause us to walk in newness of life. It will cause us to be more surrendered to your heart. And it will cause us to see nothing else in this life but your heart because the only thing that matters in this life is your heart. Lord, we pray that we will lift your name up because you said when you draw, when I'm lifted up, I will draw all men to me. Lord, we pray, Lord, that we will lift your name up, lift your testimony up by the way we live that. It might cause us to walk in true belief and surrender to your testimony, but also that it calls us to make disciples because you have been lifted up and you have called us to lift you up because you are worthy of praise. Father, we pray that your word will go forth like fire in the earth, Lord. We pray that it will purge every dark way, every deceptive way in our heart. It will rid out, it will crush everything that is not you in us and rebuild and replace everything in our heart with all of you that is pure and holy, Jesus. Lord, help us to be better children. Help us to be better servants. Help us to do your will, Lord, that please your heart, Lord. For apart from you belong, from if we stray away from your truth, Lord, then to us belong confusion of faces, Lord. And Lord, we don't want to be confused in our, and we don't want to be confused in our faces because we feel victims of pride. But rather, Lord, we pray for humility that we will understand greatly who you are in your Son Christ Jesus. That we may walk straight in true understanding, because Lord, you said we worship what we worship the God we do know. We worship what we do know. Not that which we don't, but we worship that which we do. Well, Lord, if we obey the gospel, it gives us a true understanding of who you are and it causes us to worship in truth and in spirit. And we will worship what we do know and not what we think we know. Lord, help us to come out of being consumed just by physical work because when we fall into that place we can fall into a place of misunderstanding of how you called us to be according to the spirit but rather Lord we will pray that we will walk in your spirit and your works your true works will be revealed as we go and make disciples your true work will be revealed as we feed the homeless as we um, pray for the widow as we serve the widows Lord we will pray that we will seek your face first because as we seek you then the work that we commit outwardly is pure because we do it out of love for you and not ourselves and Lord we pray that in all things we walk in humility and love that it will point us right back to you that you are the living God that works everything out according to your salvation in our heart and to those around us and our neighbors as you call us to make disciples of ourselves first in our heart and our own but also those you send us out into the field to 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 use us as your hand and feet as you reconcile them to yourself Lord we just pray for those who are heavily depressed who are heavily broken and to be honest Lord we all are heavily broken Lord because we are a weak people but Lord you said that in your weakness, my strength and soul, that whenever we are weak, your power rests upon us, Lord, we pray, Lord, that we would not despise our weakness, but in every weak way we would lay it at your feet, that your power may rest upon us and give us strength in every way, because you have given us your power and authority to carry out your will and desire in the earth and not our own. Lord God, we love you and we need you. We just pray that we will have true fellowship with you, Lord, that we would not just run in your presence and run out, but we would truly die in your presence. That it would that your presence would be like a dinner in a movie to us, Lord. That we would dine with you, that we would spend time with you in your presence as we sit in at your kitchen, and as we sit in at your table in the kingdom of heaven. We pray that we will long for you and die with you and just cry to sit at your feet like we children sitting in your living room. Oh man. Daddy, we pray that we would be like little babies on your living room. In the li- we pray that we would be like little babies in the living room in front of the fireplace, just enjoying the warmth, the presence of our Father. Let me, oh, Father, help us to be more like you through your Son Christ Jesus. Help us to serve you and be in 
reflect your glory to earth, Lord. Help us to be more like you, Lord Jesus, that we will reflect your glory, that we will testify of your testimony, Lord Jesus, Lord, for our Father in heaven. We love you so much, and we need you greatly, Dad. And we pray that we will just be faithful to you. who are going through financial hardship we pray that they know that their breakthrough is in you and that no matter what they go through that they are not alone in their struggle that you are with them even right now in the midst of those two circumstances Lord we pray for those who have had stronghold from childhood who have been abandoned by their fathers who have been abandoned by their mothers who have been abandoned by their family who have been cast out who have looked, been looked down upon, those who have been mis- those who have been misunderstood, and those who are heavily persecuted for your testimony, Lord. Lord, we pray for our brothers and sisters who, have, who are fathered by the sword for right now. For those brothers and sisters that are facing the sword for being patient, patient in their suffering, and not denying your name, and will testify even unto them. We pray for the right that we have strength to finish the race right now. This morning. Is proud around the world. Lord, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray for the peace of Israel. We pray for our Jewish brothers, Lord, that they will come to a revelation of you, Lord Jesus. Because we know it will come as we know it will come to pass. And we just pray in agreement with your word, Lord, that you have already prophesied. So Lord, we pray for the peace of Israel. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray for your holy land because we know that it's your land over the Lord. Pray for our brothers and sisters because right now, Lord, they are going through a great war over there, Lord. Um, rockets are being fired around them daily over there in the land of Israel, Lord. Lord, you know, even though we're not experienced where we at, but Lord, you said we have all things in common, Lord. Lord, we pray for our brothers and sisters um, that are over there, Lord, because we know they will be, they will come with us, Lord, in faith in you, Lord. By faith and by your word, it's all the prophesied that they will be with us, Lord. We pray, Lord, over your children in Israel, Lord. We pray for your babies over there in Israel, Lord. Because, Father, they are, they are the apple of your life. I, Lord, you love us, Lord. And Lord, we just pray with you, Lord, for your children over there. Daddy, we pray for your heart, Daddy, because we know you love your children over there, Lord. So, Daddy, we just pray for you. We pray and lift up your heart right now, Daddy, because we know it hurts you to see what is going on over there and in all that surrounds your children um, in the earth, Lord. We pray. We, we know you agree by the church, agree by what happened to your children in the church that are persecuted. And also, we know it hurts your heart of our Jewish brother that will be in the church soon, Lord. So, Lord, we just pray for Israel, Lord. We pray for our brothers and sisters over the Lord. Pray for that hospital. Pray for the hospitals. We pray um, for protection over the Lord, um, over their northern fronts. Lord, we just pray, Lord, that 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 you would cover them, Lord. You cover them, Lord. That all your word will be filled according to your prophets, what they have written. So, Lord, we, you can drive aside, Lord, that there will be a time of Jacob's trouble, Lord. We pray in that time, Lord, that it will bring them to you. And that in that time when they trouble, Lord, it will bring them to your feet. That you prophesy, Lord, because, Lord, we understand, Lord, sometimes that, Lord, we have went through trials in our life that brought us to your feet.
for you. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for your glory. Daddy, was it not a prayer for heaven, Lord? Not that you need anything from a man. Accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and my written Savior. Fill me with your spirit. Teach me to walk in your ways. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 If you accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you did the best thing you could ever do in your life. If you have accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you did the best thing, the best thing you could ever, ever do in your life. Okay? baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Spirit. Okay? And receive the Holy Spirit. And um, when we receive the Holy Spirit, He will lead us. He will lead us. Excuse me. He will lead us. Once we receive the Holy Spirit, He will lead us to a gathering that is led um, that is led by him because uh, those those that are the children of God those that are led by the spirit of God are the children of God so the true church is led by the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit will lead you to another gathering that live by him okay because there's a lot of false doctrine there, brothers and sisters and the Lord wants to protect you from that so as you receive the Holy Spirit, pray that the Holy Spirit will lead to a gathering that is teaching the truth. Um, and know that the church is not bound by a physical location. That the church is not um, a public building or a house per se, but the church is a people. So wherever the church is gathering, the church is happening, okay? So um, whether it's in a public building or a house, gather. Wherever the church is gathering, the church is happening, okay? And the Holy Spirit will lead you to a gathering that will help you mature in Christ because the walk God never intended for the walk of the believer God never intended for the walk of the believer to be in isolation but to be in community so the Lord will lead you to a community of believers to grow together in Christ and to mature in Christ that that you may grow in him Jesus and he will build you up in your personal relationship because because we have to have our personal relationship because we will not get into heaven by on another brother coattail, but we have to have our personal relationship with Jesus. So the church, the, the body of Christ will help you grow your personal relationship with Christ Jesus as y'all walk together in one body. Okay, um, brothers and sisters, this is all I have for you today. And oh, brothers and sisters who have accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior, congratulations. Heaven is celebrating today. They're having a party. 
Um, that you decided to come home. Then the scripture tells us whenever a sinner repents, heaven rejoices. So heaven is celebrating. They're having a party. Man, I wish I was up there, man. But I can celebrate right now with them, man. Um, because they're excited that you decided to um, come home today by accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. We all have been there. I have been in that place where I had to repent. And they celebrated me. And now they're celebrating you, okay? Meaning, the one that, um, Meaning, um, the angels in heaven, um, um, the one and only true God, you know, our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus, who sits right hand of the Father, they are celebrating you today. Okay? That one and only true God, one and only true God, is celebrating you today. So welcome to the kingdom of heaven. Brothers and sisters, this is all I have for you today. I pray that this word was a blessing to you, and I pray that it bless you, and I pray that it lead you into the righteousness of Christ Jesus forevermore. And remember, you can miss a man and miss nothing. But if you miss Christ Jesus, you have lost everything. Okay? You have lost everything. Well, brothers and sisters, let us remember, it's time for us to repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And church, we're not waiting on the end time to get here. Because the end is now yes beloved we're not waiting on the end time to get here 